Hello everybody out there in the uh, music and vinyl community. This is Mike or Soldier 777 here. And I figure show you a video of uh, of albums that was released in 2019. Uh, so this is part two where the, the second last video I showed was uh, albums that was released or reissued in 2018. So this is the same, same uh, continue up the same um, uh, theme as that, that other video. I'm showing reissues and new albums from 2019. So let's get right to it. So here we have the uh, latest Michael Sweet album, 10. It was a great album, and it came out uh, in September. I bought the, uh, the the Ultimate Fan Bundle, which had the shirt, the CD, uh, the record, and a few knickknacks, and his cassette as well, which I didn't get get except I got a cassette version of it too. So there you have it, Michael Sweet 10. I think I like uh, the one before. There's some ones that I wore a bit better, but still both are great albums. Here we have Fear Not uh, EP, uh, which has uh, five tracks that you see here. And here's the inside. And as you may know, Fear Not put an album back in uh, 1993 with self-titled album. Before that, they originally known as Love Life. And they came out with an album in 1991 uh, called Go By Lady Jane. So there you have it. And this might be, uh, this is more of a compilation album, but uh, Fear Show anyways a new release, where it's an album to accompany uh, the movie. So here you have Bloodgood in the Trenches of Rock, which is a movie about the band's history. And as you see here from the all those at the bottom there, all the um, accolades and uh, recognition they got for uh, the movie. And there you have it. And uh, here's the inside. I went through a movie and it's a, quite, uh, it's a great uh, retrospect of a band's uh, history. And uh, I'd like to watch it again when we get a chance there. It's a great video. So here's the accompanying uh, soundtrack to the um, album. And it shows uh, some, some songs and alternate versions of songs from their past um, uh, six albums. Going from a debut album up to... Um, Dangerously, dangerously close. There, you, there you have it. And also got the Dream Theater, um, which is called Distance uh, Over Time. There you have it. And uh, I got the one that has the general release. Has got um, has got uh, nine songs. I got the bonus track, Viper King. Because there you have it, Dream Theater, Distance Over Time. And also I got the uh, Blu-ray. Uh, Additional, I got a Blu-ray track, a Blu-ray uh, also on, on, on as well, which shows animations, video animations of the band. So there you have it. And here is the uh, inside there for you to look at. There you have it. And so, as you may know, Dream Theater is, is a prog, uh, um, hard rock metal band. And uh, there's a Christian music connection where uh, Mike Portnoy had played drums off and on for uh, Neil Morse. Uh, as well in the more span. So there you have it. So uh, let's and then also one more thing to show you on the new releases for the records. And I also have the uh, Michael Sweet um, Auto Fan Bundle um, record and whatnot and pictures and that kind of stuff. So there's Michael Sweet 10 Auto Fan Bundle. There you have it. So get that in my collection. So uh, let's get to the reissues that was released in 2019. And uh, let's get right to it. So here we have Idol Cure, their debut album which came out in 1986. Um, and from Greta Records, there you have it. Here's Idol Cure, Tough Love, uh, which came out in 1988. I reached it on our Greta Records as well. It was a great album. This is a great arena rock, hard rock album. Uh, great to crank in your car when you're driving on the road there. Here is the uh, Idol Cure Second Avenue, which came out in 1990, and there's a great album. Uh, this is probably the first album I think, or uh, yeah, it might be the first album I heard from them, either that one or, or the one before that one, Tough Love. But uh, and this is probably their heaviest album they came out with so far to date, I'm thinking. Here the Idol Cure Inside Out, which came out in 1991. Here we have Idol Cure Eclipse, which came out in 1994. Also, all, all, all the release on the Dirt Records as well. And I think Idol Cure may be working on a new album as well. 
Uh, so it's the first album in over twenty, in over in over twenty five years. So I'm looking forward to hearing that as well. Uh, what we have here is Stripeford reissue of the Rock Regime demos. Uh, reissue came out in, in uh, two thousand seven, and uh, reissued back in twenty nineteen. There you have it. And all these songs were um, were uh, during the period of the Rock Regime or the Young Black Attack period. With the exception of Honestly, which was during the uh, 12 Devil Sessions. But they added that song to it too, uh, as well. So there you have it. Of course, this band needs no introduction, uh, which is Holy Soldier. A great uh, band, and uh, which is a self-titled debut. We just came out in uh, April or Spring of 1990. And I bought this back in, in summer of 1990. I just cranked this in that summer in my, in my car. And man, when I first put pop this album out, when I first when I first got the cassette, when Stranger kicked in, I said, "Man, it's gonna be a good album." And I wasn't wrong. Uh, I mean, Stranger and See No Evil. I mean, they're the they're the best uh, songs in, in 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 classic Christian hard rock and metal. I mean, just phenomenal songs. And of course, the rest of the album is not too bit shabby either. So this is uh, Holy Sword debut, uh, uh, re re reissued by Rocks Records in twenty nineteen. As I said before, this is Love Life, Goodbye Lady Jane, also issued by Rocks Records, and uh, they're now called uh, um, Fear Not. Uh, this is the same band for the most part. Another great album, which is their one and done, uh, one is one and done bands. Uh, this is another, another great album. I was late to the to the party for this band, and uh, it's been reissued. I think it was released back in the early nineties, ninety three, I believe it is. But this is Red Sea Blood. And man, this is a great album, phenomenal. And of course, I got Badlands Bass's "Great Shares" on, and uh, and uh, a great album. Um, and uh, yeah, so I believe it's got the guitar player from Fair Not on this as well. So there you have it. So a bit of history there. Um, and I also got, uh, of course, Robin Carl Berzari on, on vocals, which he does a great job on these tracks. But I love to see these guys uh, in part or full put another another album, the same bluesy. Hard rock vibe that this album is known for. There you have it. Uh, another great album um, from this band, uh, which came out in two th in in uh, eighty nine. I got the original version of it, but I don't have it here with me. Uh, but we, here we have Zion, Thunder from the Mountain, uh, redone. Which came out in nineteen eighty nine. There you have it. And this got some a lot of great tracks. I mean, like Who Pulled the Strings, um, He Loves You. Um, what else? Roll the Rock, and of course they re re remix or redoes a demo track. Uh, less of, uh, I believe is called uh, the Big Fall. Great, great, great album. Great uh, kick ass, uh, hard rocking album. And uh, this band also needs only interruption, of course, from the from the vocalist. And we all we all know who he is. Uh, Shout uh, featuring Ken Tamplin. A great, great uh, band, great, great album. Uh, this is her debut, which came in 1988. Uh, Greta Records redid it in 2019. Uh, and a uh, great, great album. I, bought the, I got the cassette in the Christmas of 89 or 90, I forget now. Got the cassette, and, and of course, it's a crank disc. I think it was a Christmas like 1990. I got in the first got the show back in the summer of 1990 with the band In Your Face. So I got asked for the cassette for Christmas. I never had a seed player at that time. And the Christmas, Christmas 1990. But man, this is a great album. I mean, like, I mean, Never Stop. Uh, Winners and Losers is a great track. Uh, of course, the great, it comes, uh, the Battle of Fun Way is a great ballad. And uh, yeah, great, 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 uh, great album. Uh, show uh, Won't Be Long, which came out in 1988. So we have their second album, uh, In Your Face, another great album. Uh, I mean, uh, what, what, can, what can we say with the, these guys? I mean, great uh, great lineup and great band. Shout In Your Face, Bridget Kimmick in, in 1989. Redone by Gerda Records in 2019. And of course, continuing up with the Shout uh, releases. Here is their reissued re, uh, version of their Shout Back album, Bridget Kimmick in 1989, uh, with some bonus tracks as well. And here is uh, Ken Tamplin, um, the, the self-titled Tamplin album came out in 1993. And I remember back in the day reading the article in Heaven's Metal Magazine, 
how he uh, wrote, uh, took his time and uh, perfected each and every song. They make, they make sure that it sounded great and had great lyrics. There you have it. Uh, Can't Tap on the Self Title uh, album. Here we have uh, another band, Angelica, the Demo Sessions. Uh, another great band and featuring King guitarist uh, Dennis Cameron and also the bass player is from, is from Canada as well, uh, uh, Robert Pollan, who played bass on some or all, or all their albums. Uh, of course, uh, th these vocals were originally done by Andy Lyon, um, where there's a story behind this where uh, um, he couldn't uh, perform a vocal part due to uh, Ken Tamplin uh, probably drilling him to uh, sing a certain way. Or because he was having, he was burned out from trying to uh, perfect the vocal vocals. So uh, what happened was that uh, Ken recommended a couple singers for the band, who was uh, Bob Carlo and Rob Rock. And of course, Rob Rock became the singer singing on their first album, uh, self-titled Ken Temple album, which is this one. Uh, there you have it. The official first release came in 1989. Uh, Ken, uh, Angelica. Uh, there you have it. A great, great album, got some great tunes on this one. Of course, we have Walking of Faith, uh, another one that was redone, really music came in 1990. Great, great uh, album, got some great tunes like Walking of Faith, Hold On, All I Can Do. The first three uh, songs is a one, is a one, two, three punch. Great, 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 great tunes. Uh, Set Me Free, another great, great tune. Uh, like I said, great, great album. Of course, we have the uh, Rock, Stock, and Barrel. Uh, Rage Committee 1991 and uh, redone in 2019 by Gerda Records. Great song, I mean, great album. Not as heavy as their uh, as their other albums, but still got some killer guitar uh, uh, work from Dennis Cameron. Also, um, I never showed this in my new releases, but I should have, but I'll show it anyway now. Here is the Angelica album, More Than Words, or Without Words, should I say, Without Words. And uh, it's all instrumentals. And like I said, uh, Dennis Cameron never fails to disappoint with uh, his solo work, his fret work. One of, I think, is he one of the most underrated guitar players on the planet. Um, I remember conversing with Dennis Cameron back a couple of years before this came out, and I uh, heard some tunes on line, other clips, or the whole song. I'm not sure. And I said to Dennis, "I said you should, you should put the uh, releases on the album." I, I guess I'm not sure if he. Uh, and eventually he did get to good music, so I'm really glad, glad he did because these songs were the same songs he put on Facebook for people to hear. And uh, like I said, very uh, kind of cool to have this on, on, on an instrumental album. You sit, kick back, relax, and if you want to stick an instrumental, that's the one to put on, on your stereo. And uh, this is a band I never got into back in the day. I was aware of them, but never got, got into them. Um, and now, lately, I've been getting into, over the past few years, I've been getting into bands that I sort of missed out on. Uh, back in the day, back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, and this is one of those bands. Here's Neon Cross, a uh, self-titled self album, and uh, here's their um, inside there. And this is sort of an, uh, I guess you'd call it an, oops, I just got the CD one second. Um, yeah, this is sort of a, an anthology of uh, their first album plus a few uh, bonus tracks and demo tracks from the late 80s from the band. So there you have it, Neon Crossed. Originally came in 1988 and redone by Guru Records in 2019. Great days in my collection. And this is another band that needs no introduction. Uh, for those of you who like classic rock, uh, sorry, classic metal, in the vein of, um, in the vein of, um, uh, Queen Shrike, uh, Iron Maiden, Priest. Uh, here we have three, a trilogy of great albums from uh, Sacred Warrior. You have Rebellion. You have uh, you have uh, Wicked Generation, and you have, of course, Obsessions. And like I said, I mean, if anybody was around listening to Christian metal back in the day, uh, these this was one of the bands that's often talked about back in the. 89, 1991 period was, was Sacred Warrior. I mean, you can't go wrong with these guys. I mean, they just, uh, was classic back then. And hopefully now, uh, um, even though Ray Parr is no longer in a band, hopefully they may, for old time's sakes, maybe release an album or, uh, album or two. 
with the current members or so, but you never know. Uh, they did put out uh, a few songs in the past few years. Um, I think one's called Slave. I think that one's called God Rest You Merry Gentlemen. And a hymn, uh, which is currently on YouTube, which, which the name escapes me. And, um, and, a few, and a four or five other tracks. And I would love for those guys to release this on EP or maybe do a few more songs and release a full length album of a collection of those songs they've been doing the past few years, plus some other tracks, and uh, do another album. Uh, there you have it. And of course, another uh, album I have from uh, one of my favorite bands of theirs is a demo album that they re that reissued. It's Deliverance, Green of Death. There you have it. Great to have in my collection. And it's got some of their songs that made uh, made appearance on uh, some of their early albums. And uh, Victory, Greens of Death, No Time, Jesus God, Speckled Bird, Awake, Space Call Unit, Attack. So there you have it. Great to have this in my collection. It's a great uh, retrospect of their material they had back in the day. And, uh, and there you have the band there. Unfortunately, the drummer Chris Hodge, which is right here, no longer with us. Uh, unfortunately, he's succumbed to cancer, and he's hopefully now is in a better place in, uh, in heaven with, with God. And uh, like I say, great, great, uh, great to have my, in my collection. So, uh, so let's get to the records, and it's getting in up the wars of 16 minutes or more. So let's get right, uh, to the record right quick. There's Rockers and Demos from Striper. I show the CD version of this. Here's a Michael Sweet version, uh, a record version of his debut, uh, the self titled album, which came in 1994. There's a Michael Sweet uh, One Side War, uh, done on Bono back in 2019. Here's a Sin Dizzy, He's Not Dead, and um, and a lime green vinyl. There you have it. This album got some mixed reviews. Um, some fans like it, some fans don't like it. But you know, it's, it's, it's all, some parts of it is alternative, other parts of mainstream uh, uh, classic uh, hard rock metal. Uh, but I do like some of the songs in this album. It's got a different take on the. Uh, uh, sorry, got got a uh, certain uh, uh, class or certain certain vibe to it. And uh, I like when bands tend to be a bit more experimental. Um, you know, even though they verge into uncharted territory, uh, which is different from what they normally do. Of course, with Striper, this goes in more uncharted territory. The first six songs, the last six, four songs is more uh, in, a, in a Striper vibe. But like I said, it's, it's more of an experiment, experimental album. So you can appreciate the album for that anyway. So there you have it. Here we have Holy Soldier. The debut, as I mentioned, I, I showed the uh, CD version. I'm not sure what year this album was released because I didn't have the year on the uh, CD or, or vinyl. I do have a CD, but I forgot to bring it with me. But here we have uh, White Cross and Gary Revival. I think it came out in 2018, 2019. I'm not quite sure, but I figure I showed it anyway. Here we have Love Life. Um, with the uh, on, on gold vinyl color, there you have it. Go by the Jean. Here we have Zion, Better from the Mountain, uh, again on vinyl. Shout in your face, again on vinyl. Then Delta debut, again on vinyl. Rock, Stock and Barrel, Angelica, and Bonnie. The Leather Collection of Warfare, done by Retroactive Records, on Yellow Bonnet, uh, released in 2019. It has my collection, my favorite uh, Deliverance albums. Uh, some of my favorite tracks, uh, I think my favorite track of this one is Flesh and Blood, awesome track. Here we have two Deliverance albums, this is uh, USA. Uh, Rizzo came into 2013. Here we have the uh, Greetings of Death uh, record version. So great to have in my collections. Uh, of course, as you may know, Deliverance is one of my favorite bands on, on the planet. There you have it. So anyway, folks, uh, that's my uh, video for now. 
Uh, better cut this short because I'm getting up towards the 20 minutes. Um, great, uh, great showing these albums. This, I mean, these are all classic albums. I mean, can't go wrong with these bands. I mean, these bands have been part of my life for most for the most part for several years. And great to have these reissues on vinyl and, and, and on CD and, and some on vinyl. And um, and so I'm going to show another video probably uh, down the line of uh, releases from 2020. Other uh, both reissues and new albums. Uh, so there you have it, folks. You guys have a great day. And uh, comment, like, subscribe uh, below. And uh, let me know your thoughts. You know, I always appreciate hearing from what you guys got to say. And I do appreciate hearing um, and watching videos from other uh, people as well, like uh, Mega Jeff uh, McCormick and uh, Dolphin Dale, Scott Waters, um, uh, the guy named Dan. He's in New Brunswick, Canada. Uh, his name escapes me now. Dan's Dan, uh, the guy who likes all of those cassettes. I appreciate hearing his uh, views as well. Uh, who else? Uh, let me think. Um, uh, Striper Drive, Kent uh, Striver and uh, Rex Rex. Uh, I love, enjoy their channel as well where they talk all things Striper. And I was on one of their episodes there back, a couple of episodes back. And hopefully I wouldn't mind chatting with the guys again in the, in the future. Who else is it? Um, uh, i trying to think of some other. Anyway, you guys know who you are. Uh, I do enjoy watching your, your channels. Uh, you know, someone's all comment on what you got to say. Uh, if a certain album uh, brings back memories, I'll, I'll make uh, put in a little little uh, a little uh, comment here and there. Oh, Torrential Riff, he's a great, another great channel too. We, we might want to check out. He got some great uh, things to say about albums and uh, and does comparisons of reissues and original uh, versions as well. Yeah, that's another great channel. Okay, anyway, folks, you guys have a great day and uh, all the best and uh, and hang in there and uh, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys again online. Bye now.